All right, good afternoon, back in the car. That means it's time to go home from Walt Disney World, making the drive back from here, from here in Florida to New Jersey. Um, long drive again, looking like we'll be in Jacksonville two and a half hours, so about like five o'clock, 5.15. It's about 2.30 now. So let's get the show on the road. Great trip, great, great times, great fun. But now it's over. Time to go back to New Jersey. It's going to be a lot chillier there for sure. It looks like today it's supposed to be 90 degrees here in Florida. I think uh, when I get back, I think the highs are like low 70s. So it'll be cooler and then the nighttime is going to be super cold. But let's get this drive on and hopefully we can get home in good time. Not going to drive all the way through, but probably stop in either the edge of South Carolina or in North Carolina. Somewhere like I did last time depending on how I feel, but let's get the show on the road. All right, it's official. We're leaving Disney property. A lot of people coming in here though, but goodbye Disney. See you in a couple months. It is 5.30. Made it here to Jacksonville, Florida. Got about 20 more minutes to complete the charge to continue the journey on. And I believe the next stop says eight o'clock. So it'd be like two and a half hours from now, roughly. We'll be in South Carolina. It'd be like eight o'clock. I'll say it's rounded to 8.30. We'll always add a little bit extra. And then after that, it would be North Carolina at about 1130, 12 o'clock, we'll say the latest. So probably that's probably where I'll stop or maybe before then, depending if I get tired. But not too shabby, making some decent time. Going to be out of Florida in probably the next 30 minutes maybe or less. And then we'll go right through Georgia and then we'll be stopping again in South Carolina. So be here for another 20 minutes or so. All right, so it looks like we have enough to continue our journey. We've charged up enough. It says five minutes until we get 85%, but we're good to go. We'll get to the next stop with about 20% battery in two hours and 20 minutes, roughly. 8.06, we'll say 8.30 the latest, depending on if we hit any traffic. But let's get the show on the road because the sun is starting to set. So let's take advantage of whatever daylight we still have left. All right, we made it to the South Carolina Chargers, the one behind the Wendy's. And boy, it is cold out here. So going from Florida, we're in the sun today. Granted, it was breezy. It was probably like in the 80s, 85, somewhere about that. In the sun, probably felt more like closer to 90. But it is 57 degrees here and you can like... If I'm outside, I could blow and they could see my breath. It is freezing, so going to take some time to get used to the cold weather again, for sure. But looks like we'll be sitting here for 35 minutes. Got a nice coffee and some nuggets. So I'll finish that up and then we'll just relax a bit before we continue. I might not continue all the way to the next charging location because it is projecting us being there at like 1140. So it'd probably be more like midnight. And then we would continue like try to find a hotel in that area because it's saying from now, once I finish this charge, we're gonna drive for three hours, which I don't know if I'm feeling that tonight. Might just cut it short. Three hours is a long time. But we'll see. Let me get these nuggets down real quick. Alright, it's about just about twelve o'clock, a little bit past. Made it to North Carolina, gonna charge up a bit here, figure out what hotel I'm going to stay at for the night. I'm going to find something close to here, get settled in for the night, get some sleep, and then get up tomorrow morning and continue the journey onward. I think it could only be like maybe nine hours or something like that from for tomorrow morning, so not too bad. Made some uh, decent time driving, roads weren't too busy, so let's figure out where we're staying tonight. All right, made it to a hotel room. It is about one o'clock in the morning took a little bit a lot of the hotels are already booked up but this one I got wasn't too expensive and be able to get some sleep in tonight um, quick peek at the room though 
It's not too bad. Pretty nice. And there's so you have the two beds here. You have a desk over here down on the bottom. TV. The nightstand in the center. Got a mirror here. And of course, the bathroom. Nice looking sink. And the bathtub. All right, good morning. It is the next day. Time to continue the journey on back home. I think it's about like nine or 10 more hours. So not too bad, depending on traffic as well, because Virginia, Baltimore, all of them were just filled with traffic. So let's get the show on the road. There's supposed to be a, some type of breakfast downstairs. So I'll just take a quick peek, see if there's anything I want to grab for the road. And then we'll continue onward. Hopefully it's not too cold out because I left my sweatshirt and everything in the car. So hopefully it's not freezing cold. Last night it was a bit chilly. But let's head downstairs and get to the car. All right, made it back into the car. It is pretty cold out. They did have like okay options for that breakfast. They did grab like a biscuit, put an egg on it. Took that and some coffee. But it is now 9.15. I did sleep in a lot longer than I originally anticipated. So it's going to put me back a little bit on the commute here. But if there's no traffic and we drive perfectly, it should be 6.50 the time I get home. Maybe like... After I go to the other charger, probably like 7.30 or 7.40, but hopefully it's perfect driving, but we shall be at the next charger at 10.12. Might be able to change that, actually. Let me, because I do have a lot more of a charge than I originally was supposed to have last night. So let's try this again and see if it gives me a better travel time. <clears throat> let's see. Now turn left onto North Robert Avenue. All right, so they did move the chargers around a little bit. So the first stop will be at 1121, projecting me to be back at my house around the same time. So not much has changed, but we just stop at a little bit longer distance. But, all right, let's get the show on the road. All right, just pulled into the second North Carolina stop, right? Last one was in North Carolina. Yeah. So second North Carolina stop. This is the one with the Dunkin' Donuts, so time to go get some more coffee. I'll charge up here for about 25 to 30 minutes and then we'll continue onward. Looking at our time frame here, looking about like 7.30, 7.45. Probably be back in my town, so not too shabby. Next stop after this will be in Virginia and then we'll have a stop in Delaware. I believe that's at the little like rest area same as last time and then I'll be back in my town definitely cooler out here 70 degrees compared to what I was like in Florida which was in the 80s 85 somewhere around there once the rain finally stopped but all right let's get some coffee and charge up Right, so got rerouted. We're at Petersburg, Virginia. Never been to this one before. Doesn't seem like a too busy. It's a part of a little convenience store here. It is 37 cents a kilowatt, so I guess not too bad. A little bit more than back at home, unless they raise the prices at home. But we'll sit here for a little bit. Looks like about like 20 minutes or so, and then the next stop will be in Baltimore between like 5 and 5.30. It says a four hour drive, so it's probably a lot of traffic coming up into that area because normally the car doesn't have you drive for four hours straight, max maybe three. But yeah, I don't know. I don't think it's gonna, gonna drive all the way through that. I think it's all traffic because it is gonna be around the time we're gonna be in the Baltimore DC kind of areas. It's gonna be a like rush hour time, so. Wait, wait, today's Saturday, right? I don't know, maybe it's just a lot of traffic on a Saturday. It's no work really today for a lot of people, but just normal Saturday traffic, I guess. All right, made it into Baltimore, which means it should be another three hours until I'm back in my town, so the final home stretch. I did hit a lot of traffic though, it was a 
supposed to be like a two and a half hour drive, maybe two hours and 40 minutes, and it was really like three hours and 40 minutes because it was bumper to bumper traffic. There were a lot of Virginia, there were a lot of like Maryland was bumper to bumper. So hopefully it's nice and clear for the rest of the trip through the rest of Maryland, Delaware, and then of course, New Jersey. All right, it is 8.20, made it to my town supercharger. Made pretty good time this time around. I thought the drive went pretty well compared to like the last time. Don't feel as tired. Um, got home now at a reasonable time. I think last time I did this was more closer to like 11 o'clock. Um, so I think I made good time coming back up and I also made great time going down, being able to leave my house early at 5 a.m., getting to Jacksonville at like 12.30, checking in a hotel at one and then driving the rest of the way to Disney. And now driving back up, you know, stopping in just inside of North Carolina, maybe like 40 minutes inside of North Carolina. And then well, I overslept. I was actually planning on leaving earlier this morning, but would have been home a lot earlier. But still, 8.30 is a pretty good time. And yeah, I have to see what I'm going to do for the next trip if I'm going to drive again. It is a long commute because it is probably about, with traffic and everything like that, you're looking at probably... 18 19 hour drive but sometimes it's relaxing sometimes it's stressful definitely the worst states to drive in from my experience of driving up and down quite a few times now is i hate driving to virginia traffic is always awful um maryland awful traffic delaware you're only in there for a little bit so it's not too bad new jersey i mean people drive a little crazy up here in new jersey uh, north carolina there's a lot of like um construction on the road so you have a lot of like tight narrow roadways and florida a lot of construction in central florida there's traffic in central florida and people also drive a little crazy down there as well but there is some relaxing points of driving just not in some of those areas but good trip good drive and with that being said until next time